we left off with uh, the dean letting you guys go, telling you guys, you know, if you're going to fight, take it off school grounds. Yep. Right. And he dim- dismisses you. You guys have finished your classes for the day. And uh, you guys are in your free period. What is it that you two want to do? Uh, I think I want to practice a little more on my defense. Okay. Uh, you, as you walk around the school a little bit, you kind of see there's a practice room. Mm-hmm. And each one has kind of like a like a, a gun range would, like a stall. Okay. It's a, a private stall for you to kind of practice your magic. Right. Okay. And uh, Johnny? Uh, I think Johnny is going to uh, practice his uh, attack. Okay. And the same thing. There's a, a, a practice room. You go in. There's a private stall. And that in and, and that one specifically, there's three options of attack, uh, defense, and conjuring. And you hit the attack button, and uh, little wooden puppets show up. And there's nothing but empty space in front of you. So okay. we'll, we'll start with... Uh, Zeke, Zeke, uh, you want to practice your defense. So, what exactly do you want to do? I just want to learn, uh, or I, I want to more or less just get better at the phasing aspect. Okay. Go moving with shadows. All right. Go ahead and roll for so uh, roll a defense roll. All right. So it's three, and then D don't I don't have defense other than the plus one into it, right? So it's four total. I think so. Right. Yeah, because it's a three for any sp- skill check, right. and then you only have plus one into the defense aspect, so it's just plus one total. Correct. So, so four dice. So four. Okay. Got three. No, that's good. And okay. so, um, yeah, you're able to successfully, like, you dive into a shadow, and you're able to pop out wherever you want inside the room, and um, you're getting more, you're getting the hang of it. So what what I'm going to have you do, and you kind of, you just, all that's that's all you want to practice? Yeah, that was it. Um, go ahead and, and under under your like wherever you want to write it. Okay. Just um, plus one. Uh, let's add a plus two d six. Two d six. Yeah, to each every time you try and shadow. Oh, travel. so just put plus two. No, no, no or... that's yeah, only shadow travel. So like only when you're trying to do that specific thing. Oh, so that's oh, what I'm saying. Okay, you would yeah. write it down. Yeah, you have like okay. a notes section. You can write it in. Ah, okay. All right, yeah, we'll get the producer to get us some more pencils because we come prepared. Pencils, I usually come prepared. Yeah, and so Johnny, he as you walk into a the the stall, you see the wooden dolls appear, and what do you want to do to them? Uh, I want to sort of work on. Uh, I want to do like a flamethrower attack. Okay, so like a just constant like, flame yeah, just emitting like out of the hand, just constant. Okay. Um, yeah. So go ahead. And, what's your attack roll look like? So you have plus three. Then, nice. All right. So the challenge rating for this is kind of simple. It's just going to be a challenge level of three. Okay. So because you've done something similar before. Um, you got four. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, and you're like pretty. You're successful, and you do it multiple times. So uh, I'm going to have you add one d six okay. of. Uh, to any flamethrower like ba- based attack. Okay. All right. You guys finish your free period. <laughs> Whoa! Don't drop your phone. Uh, you guys finish your free period. Mm-hmm. You guys wrap up, and you're kind of you're pretty exhausted. And as you head back to you to your room, you hear over the loudspeaker. All students, please meet in the cafeteria. All students, please, especially first years. First years. Please meet in the cafeteria. Yeah, go ahead to the cafeteria. I guess I'll go to the cafeteria. Okay, you guys go to the cafeteria, and the cafeteria kind of transforms as you guys get there to this auditorium aspect. And uh, like the the teacher that did the initial exams of entry uh, comes up in front of everybody and clears his throat. <clears throat> Students, uh, it looks like. After your first day, there was a fight in the cafeteria. We would like to say that if you are going to fight, there is specified areas off grounds of the school that you can do that. This is a whole realm, after all. But for the real reason we are here, there is a transfer student. A first year that was not brought here with the rest of you. Up walks. Nick, go ahead and describe your character. Um, I am playing the character Sam Castillo. He is 25 years old, pretty 
average looking build, at least from what you can see through the somewhat loose fitting. I'm assuming it's like a school uniform, like a it's like a shirt and vest kind of deal. Or yeah, it's just like, like a, a little. It's like pre- uh, prestigious. So like yeah, you have so like a like, little suit with yeah, the monogram. Little, yeah, little suit with like the school emblem. Yeah. yeah. So he's wearing like a pretty plain looking school uniform. Pretty average build. Um, he's not the most like extravagant or stands out in a crowd kind of guy. Um, what am I seeing around me? Just a bunch of first years? Yeah, a bunch of first years, like in an auditorium setting, and you're up on the stage. And okay. uh, the teacher says, well, what kind of uh, spellcasting do you have? Uh, I think Sam kind of takes a moment to kind of like look and... I guess the I not really I the way that I describe it in my head is not like a like showing off but kind of mm-hmm. like a, a demonstration. Kind of like a I guess like a brief demonstration. Um <clears throat> he would kind of like rub his hands together really quickly like he's prepare like he's preparing for something and then just kind of just hands outstretched and there's just like a breeze that blows from him like kind of across the cafeteria. And as he kind of looks to everyone as he says this, he goes, I am a practitioner of wind. And um, I want to have you roll for that because, I mean, yeah. They brought us in here for this. And um, you hear, yeah. is that what yeah. you're doing? I'm the only one clapping. Okay. <laughs> I think, I think, you I hear, think <laughs> Sam was expecting much more of like, a, oh, cool, but it's just like. You hear no, idle clap. you hear nothing but a singletary clap in the, the audience. And as you look over, you see a uh, a lanky, like, 25-year-old that looks like he hasn't slept a whole lot recently. And uh, in, the, in the crowd just... I thought it was cool. Sam takes that. Any, any even the smallest bit of reception, Sam takes that as, like, a grandiose sort of bow. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, the teacher is, like, kind of, like, chuckles unimpressed and just like all right well that's the uh end of free period now it's uh you guys can go back to your dorms we'll be starting classes again first thing in the morning okay all right so do people kind of just like yeah leave people, the- you just see people empty out the auditorium area and uh sam is just sitting standing on stage kind of like figuring out where where to go all right i guess i'll walk up okay you walk up Hey, bro, you got a really cool power, you know that? Thank you, my friend. Like, you don't need air conditioning or anything. That is just dope. Typically, no. You look as if you have not slept much. We're not going to talk about that. I've slept slept way too much. (laughs) Ah, I see. The oversleeper. NyQuil addict. (laughs) Ah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I would say I could understand. But I do not. What is Johnny doing in this moment? Uh, Johnny is just like, uh, like sitting, like on the the bleachers, just kind of like looking off into space. Okay, like just kind of. This man up. has hard disassociated. <laughs> the yeah. minute he saw nothing involved him, he's like, I don't care. <laughs> you do see Johnny in the stands as you're talking. Yeah, I'll be like, yeah, that guy over there. He's uh, he's like the only person I've actually talked to and liked so far. So like, the feeling is not mutual. He likes me too. I can feel it. I can feel but, the camaraderie between you two. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. I went three and two, three and one, three and, and one. And I, I, I approach and uh, I'm just like, "You were the reason they brought us in here." I believe so. I was not impressed. I am sorry, mi amigo. <laughs> Where are you from? Cuba. This man is from Ooh. Cuba. <coughs> you did you bring in the rum? Uh, no. Yeah. I am sorry to disappoint. Again, that's twice now. <laughs> I am so sorry, my friend. So is that missile crisis like a whole like? D- 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 we do not talk about that. I know. I know. I just wanted. We, I, you are still I talking just... about it. Okay. <laughs> you are still talking about it. We are done talking about it. As as he kind of quiets. Uh, Zeke, you see the teacher stand, but come back from uh, the side of the stage and go, "Hey, it's time for y'all to get out of here. Go to your like your dorms and yeah. Um, you, 
Sam, come. I'll show you who your RA is. And he leads the way to an RA. And take it, you guys go back to your dorms at this point? I guess I get to go back home alone. <laughs> no friends or anything. You don't want to hold hands with your RA? Who's my does, R- who is my RA? You don't have one. Exactly. <laughs> oh, he didn't know that. I for, sorry, sorry, I forgot. Yeah. Um, so, so at, out of character. Uh, so my uh, my house is Umbris, mm-hmm. uh, and I'm the only one there because I'm the only one who's been there for 50 years. Like the goth kids from South Park. Right. <laughs> but so, I'm the only one there. <laughs> so you go back to your uh, – uh, Johnny goes yeah. back to his dorm room area. He sees Ken – with and a bunch of the Pyrus gang kind of like sitting around like a campfire in the middle of their dorm area and there's no fire alarms going off nothing and they're just like full control ken is just sitting there he's like come on johnny sit down we're gonna we're gonna all talk about what i don't know about a day it's the first day in class i do not care uh, okay you sure very sure thank you good night uh, okay and he just sits there with like a smile back on his face. He's just like, "So, gang, how was it?" And you just kind of you just hear him go right back into the Johnny, conversation. Johnny, Johnny does not care for these people. <laughs> um, and so the teacher takes you, Sam, all the way to, and you see in this large uh, open corridor of the big banner that says Ventus. And he goes, "This is going to be your Ventus. dorm room area, and um, I think you'll like your RA. She's she's very nice." And uh, he kind of leads you through to. An RA, she's very slender, blonde haired, and uh, you see that she has this like huge t shirt and it just says, I love horses. And uh, and just like turns around, and she just goes, uh, Hi, uh, think, you, yeah, you're Sam. Sam was kind of looking around and like kind of like admiring how big it was. And then the minute he looked at her shirt and saw and he read the text on the front of her shirt, I think the first thing that he'd said, he would smile to her. Shake her hand and be like, ah, caballera. She's like, <laughs> he, she's like, I don't know what that means, but welcome to Ventus. It is Spanish for cowgirl. Oh, well, thanks. I love horses. I am aware. <laughs> right, the t-shirt. I'm, I'm sorry. Sometimes I can be a little airhead. Um, that's a little joke we have yes, here. Yes, Ventus. yes. The, ah. the shirt was a giveaway, but uh, well, I respect it nonetheless. <laughs> okay. She just kind of like play like fidgets a little bit the teacher goes well um i'll let you answer any of his questions and he disappears and she's like well um i i've been here for a couple years i'm on the excursion team is, is there anything like you you have any questions uh your your first year right that is correct and like have you grown up with magic like do, are you coming from like a magical family you you look well dressed like everybody you know except for some of the modern students they came here unknowing what's going on but like you look very well dressed i believe i am here unawares as well okay um what did you what were you doing before huh what was i doing before <sighs> as much as i would love to talk about the sugarcane fields of cuba i cannot right now <laughs> i believe there was some manner of tour oh well there's not so much of a tour but i i can show you a little bit and she like you see her pull it uh, to her hands kind of together into like holding it like almost look like she's cupping both of her hands and a large like wind starts to like form of the of, like the diagram of the school. And oh, she's okay. she shows you each corridor kind of like built in this little windy um, model of the school. Okay. And she goes, this is us in Ventus and this is the main hall. And then you'll just follow your class group tomorrow to classes. They'll it's it's all on the schedule. And uh, if you just follow them, but, and then she points out, she dismisses the Wendy model and she's talking very fast and it's, it's a little hard to kind of keep up sometimes, but you're able to. Yeah. If it, if it wasn't for Sam having been born and raised in Cuba, he probably would have gotten so lost. Right. <laughs> and so she like points down the hall, points to the door and she goes, that's your room right there. Um, I'm sure there's a house elf, house elf somewhere around here that can help you. Um, is there any other questions I can answer for you? I'm sorry. A what? A house elf house what weren't, weren't you reached out to by a house elf to to get here a, a small elf that gave you a scroll led you to a library that thing was an elf yes i'm i've heard that there's some confusion with aliens he's not an alien um i was no i i read a lot of comic books growing up i thought he was a goblin hmm 
I can understand the the confusion, but no, no, no. He's an elf. They're an small, elf. green. Yes, an elf. Short. Short. Twenty very years. Small. Yep. yep. Goblin. No. No. Goblins usually have red skin. Uh, elves have green. They don't like to be misconstrued for that. Ah. So I would just keep that to. to I yourself. may have angered your elf. Ah. I was wondering why I haven't seen an house, house elf appear. You do not have an house elf. Uh, it looks like, let's go look at your room. And you, you walk down the hall. <laughs> she opens the door for you. And you look in at just the basics. It is a bed and a desk. And that is it. I think when Sam walks in, he sees us. Just, ah, just like home. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, oh, oh that's sad. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, um. Here you go. Well, uh, classes will be starting tomorrow morning, and man, am I tired. But if you have any other questions. You will be the first one I reach out to. Oh. Thank you, senora. And she, like, she sees you kind of, like, bow her head, and she just goes for the whole Japanese traditional, like, bows her head completely and down to the, almost down to, like, a 90-degree angle, bows back up and goes, Thank you, sen- senorita? Senor. Senor. Okay. Good night. And then walks off. Have a good night. And he slams the door and turns around and goes, and I am alone. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Immediately crashes onto the bed. Nice. <laughs> um, as you guys all <clears throat> end your night, you can hear throughout the night every now and then that there's some kind of like battle training going on. You hear kind of like talking and communicating through that, but uh, ever if you do go to investigate it, or you, it, the sound just goes away. Hmm. But uh, you kind of hear like sounds of like a battle and ta- and people yelling like to the left, flank it here, flank it here, go here, up, 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 stuff like that. And um, every time you look, you wake up, the sound kind of disappears. Um, and your next day of classes begin. You guys uh, go go through the uh, same classes you did before this time in a little bit of a different order, and uh, it's start uh, Austin as the Umbris. You get to choose which class you like to go to between Conjuring, Attack, Defense, and Monster Manual. Um. Uh, and just to inform why you're thinking, Nick, because you are in a main of the four houses, you follow a schedule just like others do. Okay, so I have like a, essentially like an itinerary. Yes, so like cl- uh, students are broken up into groups of different like uh, bill of different spellcaster spellcasters, and then they go into that group from the four houses because the school is so used to only having the four houses and nobody filling the other two. <laughs> that uh, they make an automated schedule for them. And um, so Austin, being <clears throat> Umbris, gets to choose his own schedule because he has nobody to really make a schedule for. Fair. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to walk out and um, out of the, out of these two, who do I, if, it, if it, anyone, do I see either of them? Yeah, you see them, they're both in the same class group. They're all going to the same class? Yeah. I'm just going to run up and be like, oh, hey guys! Are we holding hands, Johnny? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, we so you, could be. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> so you guys, uh, he, you, you guys are walking to class with your class group. And you notice that Johnny's in your class group, and then shortly after, you see Zeke walk up and greet. What do, what do most of the the other students in Ventus look like? Like, how do they dress? Like, what's their mannerisms? That's a good question. Um, they're some of the they're kind of spread out through different things, but most of them are very slender builds, very skinny. Uh, some of them dressed kind of like surfer dudes, um, and uh. and then others like females kind of dressed in these like really like curl like really nice dresses and so on. Um, but all of them across the board are, um, like pretty well dressed. Okay, so we're thinking more like I don't want to say like upper class, but like definitely very like better looking than the average school uniform sort of attire yeah okay okay yeah you notice from the first day that they were all wearing uniforms in the auditorium but now nobody's wearing a uniform they're all just wearing whatever makes sense okay are any of them more like aloof Mm, you could say that okay i think i think sam's starting to kind of get the general feel for 
the at least the houses or whatever and if he notices a lot of his student body that are here are kind of aloof he's probably like mm, not gonna hang out with you you notice that a, a good amount of the ventus uh like people kind of just drift they kind of go with the flow of things and uh you could almost say they go with the wind they do. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go now. But, <laughs> uh, goodbye, guys. But yeah, but the, you also notice that there's a bunch of different qualities in each house from almost each person sometimes of like different houses. There's not really like a general vibe of bad or good, but some some students are very stuck up. Some of them are chill. Okay. Yeah. So a, so lot, a, good of people spread. Are, yeah, a lot of people are pretty neutral for the most part. Right. Okay. Um, but yeah, you guys walk are walking in class and Z, you guys see Z come up and greet you. Hello. Hello again. Hello. 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 It means my other friend. Oh, so now I'm the other friend. I mean, I... Yes. I did greet, greet him first. I... And uh, <laughs> kind of, like, walks off. And uh, that's a good transition into getting into the classroom. <laughs> you guys go into the first class of the day, which is a defense. You see this burly gym teacher standing in the front of it and uh from the bottom of the floor water rises again just like the first day and you guys are brought up onto a platform surrounded by water and uh he goes all right new kid you're first get up here ah <laughs> and he just gets up onto the platform it's okay bud you'll be you'll be fine as you get up onto the platform you see water wishing around he goes all right Defend! And you see a, a water like almost circle around this, the class as a whole and shoot from the side of the, the classroom and directly at you. Okay. So, what do you want to try and do to defend against this? What are my options? Like, Just whatever is on the sheet for skills, I'm assuming, right? Anything. Like, this is completely up to however you want to do it. Okay. If you want to try and dodge and and not use your magic at all, you can. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you want to try and use your magic, that's yeah. All, all I think <coughs> I think Sam is gonna probably not go for using magic um, right off the bat. I think instinctually, before he was really using magic, he would have just tried to dodge this like any person normally would. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think he's gonna try to dodge out of the way at least for the first time around. Now, when you say dodge out of the way, are you gonna like try and like jump out of the way, or are you gonna try and like? I'm gonna try to like. As, as, as flashy as this is going to sound, I'm going to try to do, like, a side pivot out of the way so that the water essentially kind of almost, like, think like how a, um, like how a, what are the names for, like how a matador mm -hmm. dodges a bull uh, okay. in the stadium, okay. you know? Really so, leaning he's into gonna, Yeah, really yeah. leaning into, into the, the whole, into the like, stereotypes here. Yes, yeah. 100%. So no. I'll let you decide then. Don't if you worry, I do, am too. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do acrobatics yeah, or athletics. Yeah, I, I think acrobatics makes the All right, most so that'll be sense. three plus one plus one, so five okay, total. So five dice And total. let's see, the DC against this will be a three. A three? Okay. Yeah. That sounds about right. I'm gonna use your tray. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I only got two successes. So you you kind of try and sideswipe a little bit, or like matador your way out of the way, and it, you see the the wave almost miss you, and then just turn at the last second, and s smack you back out, and you get you land into the water. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the you the gym teacher then uses the water and raises you back up onto the platform and goes. What do you think you're here for, huh? This ain't no rodeo. Use your magic. Throw something up. You you want to throw a gale of wind out there? Something. I think Sam is now kind of just standing there. I think he's just more shocked at probably how cold the water was. I don't think he was expecting it to be like... Oh, the the water like, is like room temperature. Yeah, I was going to say, I think... I think it was cooler than what he was expecting. I mm. think he was expecting it to be like lukewarm and oh, he got okay. in and he's like, oh God, that's cold. Yeah. So he's kind of like standing there like a wet dog at first. Like he's just kind of dripping, shakes himself a little bit. He's just like, focus, focus. All right. Use your magic now. I ain't, we ain't going to do no more repeats. And then he just throws a uh, water lash at you once again. But what if Sam just did it again? <laughs> <laughs> I think, okay, so I think, uh, 
See, there's that part in me that not. Nah, I think he's gonna try it again. I okay. think he's just gonna try to sidestep it again. He's stubborn to a fault, so I think he's gonna be like, the I challenge, don't need, I don't need to rely on my magic to dodge this. It's just water. The challenge level will be a four. It'll be a four this time. Yes. Oh boy, yeah, because I'm soaked this time. Uh, four successes. Yeah, your sixes and a four. At this point, you see the water come and come at right at you and then stop and then try and hit you and you just kind of side spin your way right out of the way Olay. and uh the- yeah I, th- I think this time as sam pivots it he just kind of he kind of does like a, a pivot on the heel and now that he's wet kind of like a brief slide back using the liquid on the bottom of his shoes and he just kind of loudly proclaims like too slow and just kind of do- dodges it out of the way uh, the gym teacher just goes puts his face his hand onto his uh face and just kind of rubs his head a little bit and goes you students all right that you got to use magic son ain't that's we ain't here to dance all right but i love to dance he just again hand hand on both of his temples just all right you you going to use your magic or you going to keep spinning around once more professor dance with me all right, that's enough of this. And you see the whole classroom, all all four sides of the classroom with water come straight at you. Just all, okay, like four tentacles of water coming at you. Oh, no, not, the, not the water tentacles. Yes. How are you going to try and get avoid okay, this? Okay. So now this time, now that Sam sees four water tentacles coming at him, I think now <clears throat> is when like the magic instinct kicks in with him. Um, he's going to throw his hands up and then in like a circular motion in front of him, he's going to basically conjure like this pretty large disc of like super quickly rotating air to block it. Okay. Yep. So that'll be a defense roll. So three plus your reflex plus your defense. So five again. And because you're using magic and this is kind of what he expects, we'll say the challenge level is a three. Okay. I got two. Okay. Now, this is a point where I can offer if you want to use a destiny point to succeed, How or many do I have again? you only have three. Three. I got scolded for not letting. Sure. I'll, I'll use one. This time, all right. I it's got scolded very, for the last time. I was gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, yeah. I was say I'm gonna. It's gonna be very, very specific situations now that I use any of the other ones. So, okay, I'll use the one and turn one of my failures into a success. All right. Um. So, you, the classroom sees all four tentacles come down, and as Sam waves his hand, he creates these discs of wind, kind of redirecting each tentacle away from him. And you just see the coach kind of put it across his arms, and go. Now that's what I'm talking about there, partner. All right, go ahead. And again, <laughs> from the classroom, you just see one single person <clears throat> clapping their hands. Yeah, and Sam would, again, like dissipate the, the disc away and then just bow. Still dripping wet from the first <laughs> failure. Just, just going to look around. Does no one else think this is cool? Like... Uh... <laughs> It's a magic academy. Everybody's not that easily impressed. And the teacher goes, all right there, fashionista, let's get off the, f- the platform. Who's next? And he looks around the classroom. Either one of you two volunteer to go next. Uh, yeah, why not? Sam walks mm-hmm. off the platform with wet, squishing sounds from his now-drenched socks. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just as, as you walk off. by, I'm going to give you a high five. All right. it's, a very, Attempt to. it's a very yes. wet high five. So, Go ahead and roll sleight of hand to make sure you guys high five. Let's see what happens. You... Uh, sleight of hand is three, and then you sleight of hand roll, and then you reflex. So for you, it'd just be four dice. For me, it's five. Challenge level is two <laughs> because two. of how wet you are. I got two. I got two. Okay, so you guys are able. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very soggy <laughs> high five. Very, very crisp high five. Yeah, <laughs> this is. A, I just wanted to see if he like goes to high five and he like completely misses. Uh, after um, we do the high five, I'm just gonna like. <laughs> wipe, wipe, wipe the water off my hands on my okay. on my cloak. Just what the heck? All right. Um, he uh, goes. All right, there, fire boy. All right, Mister T-shirt, sir. Thank you. Yes. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's go. And then he throws a tentacle at you. All right. I've been training for this watch. Okay. All right, Roy. Uh, how are you trying to? I'm gonna use my newfound flamethrower uh, skill, and I'm gonna just like flame it down. Okay. That's gonna be a contested attack against okay. his attack, and we'll see. 
Oh, wait, so I'm, I'm doing an attack? Yeah, attack? because you're doing the flamethrower, right? Oh. So it's not really defend. You're you're summoning flames to attack the water. So this is how you use the most of your abilities. I'm going to loudly proclaim the oh. guilty gear So, so what's the, uh, what's the, what do I got to get here? You have a match. Oh, 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 I got to. Oh, well, <laughs> seven, six. All right, wow, so dang, beat it. I yeah. did get it. He rolls. I he has eight d six. How many do you have? Oh, I had. I think I had two, four, six, ten. Ten. One, wow. <coughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You have more than dang, he does on attack. Nice. What the heck? He has more than a professor. That's pretty funny. How do you have ten dice? So two strength, uh, three attack, one for the spell casting, three for just being able, to, you know, doing a thing, and then plus one for the specific move. Yeah. Dang! What the heck? That's solid. Hey. Um. All right. You're busted. Um. He's he's super impressed. He goes, "All right, now let's see." And then you just see two little tentacles come up from the ground and try and grab your feet and pull you out for your feet. Okay. Uh. Yeah, we'll, we'll role play a little bit. We'll say I wasn't expecting that, and I'm mm-hmm. uh, uh, I'm gonna try to create like a flame ring around my hand, around my feet. So okay. I, more, more using more of the defense. Yeah. So. Uh, the CL to beat is gonna be a four. So three so plus one. Okay. Got four. A, I got a four. Yeah. You you summon a. a f- a fiery ring around your feet, dissipating the water, turning into steam. Impressed, he goes, Now see, that's quick on your feet right there. Thank, thank you, Professor, sir. Thank you. All right. And he's like, all right, who's next? You, you can go sit down there, fine boy. Just... Und- undefeated champion, yes. <laughs> he goes, what was that? Nothing, sir, nothing. Thank you. Yeah, I thought so. I guess I'll go up there, sure. All right. Yeah, ah. <clears throat> Fight boy, hmm? in the cafeteria, finishing people off. You know that's what I like to see. I was there too, sir. Shut up, flame boy. I know you were fighting. I know you're four and one and all that jazz. Do you also have a bed knife? He goes, son, I am a bed knife. And then you see a large uh, water, like shaped like a knife, like your exact knife, come down and try and strike you. I'm gonna attempt to just portal portal walk or okay. por- sorry like portal up, up behind them. Yeah, go for it. Uh, so yeah. it's in defense. It's a defense. So then you'll do your so plus three. The regular three yep. plus the two from the from the shadow travel yep. plus the one from this. Yeah. Okay. And don't forget the. We got three. Yeah, you're you successfully <coughs> shadow travel. I'm gonna go up right behind him and just like tap him on the shoulder. I was like. Is that for me? He looks He looks behind him and goes, all right, that's enough of this. And then you see a, a giant wave dissipate from his own body towards you. Um, hmm. So a wave, oh, so you're saying a, like a wave is dissipating from him? Yeah, in all directions. So like a giant, imagine like a, this is his body. In the middle, yeah. and then a, a circle of water appears around him, and then he then expands it. I'm going to attempt to uh, uh, slender man tentacle like things out and try to like sli- slice the water. Okay, this is going to be an attack, a contested roll against his wave. All right. Okay. So three. Four, How much you got for attack, bud? Five, six. Uh, wait, do you get one for this too, for it being a vocation? Yes. Mm hmm. I didn't do that pretty at all. Uh, I think it's all of them, right? Okay. Because it's it's for str- it's for strength, right? Yeah, it should be your strength. So three plus so one. So I have the three, the original three. I get the plus one from the strength. Mm-hmm. Plus one from I get the one vocation. Plus from the vocation. And then plus, plus two from. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. Let's see it. That's a lot of successes. Wow. Uh, I got seven. Six. He has seven. Jeez. Um. I can offer you a dusty point to tie, but it really won't do it. It will just cancel the thing out. 
Your guys is about to say your guys' stuff will just cancel each That's other fine. out. Okay. And the wave, you see two tentacles appear from your back and shoot towards the wave to try and stop it, but it pushes them back towards you and pushing you away from them. And he goes, all right, pretty good there, partner, but not good enough. But I like it. Um, go ahead and each one of you add, uh, add a point to your defense. Defense? Yeah. Up top or down here? Uh, d- uh, down there on your sub skill. Okay. So up our defense, what's a plus two now? Yeah, unless you already have a plus, which these guys might, but... All right. Plus two. <clears throat> and you see the other... Yeah. You see about, uh, all the other students step up and fail or succeed, depending on who they are. Mm-hmm. Um, and they the class goes through as normal. And uh, he goes, all right, that's enough for today. And that class you guys are scheduled to go to is Conjure. Nice. And uh, you guys walk in. There's kind of the same old lady from the first day. Okay, guys, let's try just like yes- yesterday and go ahead and summon a sprite of some sort. Um, For you, Mr. Castillo, what we're doing is you're going to try and channel your energy to conjure something that, you know, you can easily think of. Think of an image and try and make that appear in your wind. Are you guys trying to do the same thing as yesterday? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to conjure a, uh, a human-esque figure. I remember mine okay. was difficult. Yours was difficult because you were trying to summon a very specific a human. Person. Yes. Yeah. You Are you trying to spe- spooky, scary skeleton? No, just any mm. kind of like a, like a silhouette is what you're trying to do. Kinda, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Zach, your CL will be five. Ooh. How many dice do you have? Four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have like no points in conjure. Um. Wait, wait, wait. You did you six? You did it last time. So this will be a four. Okay. He didn't succeed last time, yeah, but he tried he it. Succeed. This is a he, this is a goal to it will get better as you could get better as you practice. Okay. And okay. since you're just trying to do a normal silhouette, Austin, it's going to be a three. Okay. And then what are you going to try and summon? Don't tell me your if yeah. Okay. Just, not so yet. Sam got told to envision something in his head and try to conjure that in his wind. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to think what would make sense. What time period is this? You're in modern day. Okay, modern day. Okay. I think so it's just like it's just like a still image or can it be like It can move if you want to try and move it. Yes, okay. that's going to make it more difficult. I think I think the first thing that comes to Sam's mind, I think is a lot of like the the bars and like old like mom and pop shops on the streets in Havana. Okay. And the one thing he would always see the most of more than anything else are cigars. Okay. Smoking cigars. So I think he's gonna try to conjure the image of a smoking cigar out of wind. Hmm. Okay. Um I'm gonna good. make that a challenge level of of two because you're you're able you like you attach a core memory to that. Yeah. And you kind of, like, you can easily envision it. And it's okay. not very big of an object either. Yeah, no, it's not a very big... I mean, I'm making it bigger than usual, but mm. not anything, like, big enough to, like, if I could physically grab it, I could bludgeon someone with it. Sure. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. Uh, That's a one, but I got three successes. Yeah, so you're able to summon the cigar pretty well. Um, how about you, Zeke? I get four. Four? Yeah, you're able to <clears throat> you summon the full body image. Uh, I got a two. Johnny, again, <laughs> your your flame, like, you see it kind of sputter in, and you see the kind of, like, buzz cut and a little bit of the muscles here and there, yeah. but not a complete image. So, I turn to uh, Sam. Yeah. Does this look like Dolph Lundgren? I'm sorry, who? <sighs> <sighs> like, as, as he's, like, exhaling, I'm going to, like, tap him on the shoulder. I was like, bro, does this look like a skinwalker to you? Oh, no. I just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Sam? It's supposed to look like a what? A skinwalker. A what? You know, one that walks with skin. So, like, you or me? No. No. Just a, it looks like don't, a person. You, you don't... <sighs> Okay. I, I'm, I'm just gonna. The, whatever. I'm aware that you have conjured forth a locked fighting game character. 
<laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look at it. You know what? You're right. The, That's pretty cool. The teacher kind of walks by and goes, <laughs> looks at looks at Zeke specifically after looking at it and go, "Did you say you were trying to do a skinwalker?" Don't worry about it. It was just just a funny joke. Uh huh. Just a okay. Ha-ha. Just a hee hee. She Don't looks around it. like checking every corner of the room, and she's just like, "Okay, yeah, 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 just a joke." Why are you Why are you freaking out? No, no reason. I'm honey. And she looks. She just turns to Johnny immediately and goes, <laughs> "You'll get better. You'll get better." It, do you promise? Yeah, just keep practicing. Like, just, do you promise? Um. Uh. Anyways, and Sam, good, 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 good job. Something like that is great. Like that's um, that's gonna. Thank you, Professor. Mm-hmm. All right, and for this one, I uh, the only one that's going to get is points is Zeke like because of the difficulty of trying to create that, and you're able to do so. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna get that one point to conjuring. Conjuring. Okay. Yeah. As she, as like she gets up to the front of the class again, she looks over and goes, "Now, students, even though conjuring something you're familiar with is is very well done and it's great to do, try and challenge yourself. Look at Johnny; he may not be able to make the image of that rock star." It is uh, Dolph Lundgren, uh, yes, uh, famous movie star actor. Movie star. Anyway, same thing. Uh, he may not be able to From make famous movie Rocky Balboa Four. Yes, I don't watch movies. I read. Anyways, um, he may not be I've able. To, he may not be able to summon Dolph Lundgren, but at least he tries and tries to improve himself. And each time he tries, it gets better. Last time he. Anyways, um, good job, everybody. Remember your promise. <laughs> um, have a good day. <laughs> and she dismisses the class. And uh, <laughs> the next class you guys have is Monster Manual. Next time, you should try to make El Chupacabra. Oh, I got you. It would be fantastic. Okay, and, I got you. And you guys go to Monster Manual class. And again, at, in the beginning, or in the at the front of the room, you see three large, um, like, clay images. Um, let's roll a general knowledge check, everybody. Hey, see if you're able yo. to recognize them I'm as what they are. I'm pretty that. Oof. Mm. What's our general challenge? knowledge check? Yeah. Yep. What's our challenge level looking at? Uh, challenge level three. Uh, I got two. Hey, you passed. Hey. I only, hey, I passed. I only had three dice and I got three. <laughs> Let's go. Um, you had a 50-50. You had a pretty good odds. You see the three images. There is one of a like uh, an eagle with a lion's body. You see one that is a, a giant, like ugly looking... Um, creature with a large like club uh you recognize it as a troll and then you see one image of a what looks kind of like to be a snake but in larger um being which is you recognize as a basilisk wait so it's a troll and a basilisk you didn't say what the first one was oh i thought that was it's a griffin yeah it's a griffin yeah it's a it's a, it's a i it's figured eagle, but I just, it's an eagle head on a lion's body i thought i described it well enough but okay fine well, no, the inscription's fine no, J- yeah jason Whatever. described it fine i just i didn't pick up on the <clears> i want to i just want to see yeah ogre, this, but you're like it's a troll i was like they look similar yeah yeah so part. i figured they i'd just say troll um so the, he again. The, so we we recognize that the professor then walks in front of the class and goes, "All right, well, same as uh, well, I guess Sam, you don't know, but if anybody's able to tell me the three of uh, these creatures, I'll uh, you guys you'll automatically pass the class. Do either one of you raise your hands? I think Sam starts going to, but I think he's kind of waiting to see if anybody. He definitely, in this a- a- aspect, he doesn't want to because he's like pretty sure, but he's also like, I don't want to be the one that's wrong because they're going to laugh at me. You shoot your hand up? Yeah. Nobody else raises their hand. Um, but are, is Sam going yeah, to? Say, once... Sam has his hand half up, but if he sees that Johnny's like the first one up, he's going to be like, okay, I'll be second. Okay. So th- he goes, all right, um, let's do it this way. Johnny, say one of them. Uh, that one is a uh, basil, basili, basilica. It is Saint Peter's Basilica. No, no, that's not right. The teacher kind of cocks his head and goes, "A basilisk." Yes, a basilisk. Um, Sam, go ahead and tell me the other one of the other ones. He's gonna point straight at the first statue. 
He says, that one has the body of a leon, a lion, that is, a griffin. Yes. Okay. And let's see. Both of you guys know those. All right. And let's have, let's see if both of you guys know the middle one. And he walks up to each of you to whisper the answer. What do you guys say? Oh, like to whisper the answer to him? Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, I'm going to say troll. <laughs> he just, he like gets close to him and says, your mother. <laughs> He goes, well, Sam, you get an automatic pass. <laughs> Johnny. <sighs> I'll see you after class, Johnny. <laughs> My mother was, in fact, a troll. That is not funny. But you aren't wrong. You also passed class for today. He goes on to teach the class. Uh, go ahead and add weaknesses of a troll, a griffin. And a uh, basilisk to you weaknesses guys' sheets. Or likeness? You weaknesses. You now are able to recognize for them or me too. For that, yeah, you too. Oh, for you. You sit through the same class. Oh, okay. Where should I write this? Up? Um, you could put it in the notes. You could put it on the back of the page. Whatever you guys want to do. Okay, I'll just put it over here. And uh, both of you guys will get a bump. T- uh, both uh, Sam and Johnny will get a bump to your plus one to your survival. Oh, okay. Get a bump to our survival. That's right. Heck yeah, Heck yeah bro. Let's go. You can survive that uh, banana peel on the floor now. Heck yeah, I can. That's always what kills me. <coughs> and yeah. your last class will be attack for the day. And uh, so you guys go to attack class. And again, the uh, teacher in the front, uh, so you see a, a giant wing up through the, the crowd appear and he pushes Zuko, uh, Johnny Zuko to the back and goes, all right, here's the deal. This partner goes last. Who's first? <laughs> Put me in, Torch, please. <laughs> no. I have been practicing. I heard what you did in your no. defense class. You can't be torturing every wave my brother sends your way, all right? Who's, who's up first? And he looks around. When you see a small, like, earth caster kind of raise her hair and she's like oh, i'll go you see her step up and uh he's like all right come on you chickens anybody next she's an earth caster yeah not you johnny <laughs> sit you old johnny's flailing his arm in the air like teach please let me go please let me incinerate this little girl to char <laughs> You see, you, before either one of you have a chance, you see a water user uh, boy step up and they duel and he inevitably wins. Was he Molly Wopser? Um, <laughs> you recognize the water user as Griffith. Okay. The, the kid that you guys fought in the cafeteria. Who won? Who won? Him. He won, yeah. He, he won. won. He's still up there standing, yeah. Is it my turn yet? You can go up there, yeah. The I'm teacher. Gonna... All right. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead there, Slenderman. Hey, bud. How's it going? Yes. Good. I'll be able to get my frustration out for yesterday. That sounds mm-hmm. kind of disgusting. He goes to like charge up a, a blast of like water towards you, but this is attack class. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and do uh, uh I'm gonna do the the tendrils again. Tendrils again. All right. Roll attack. All right. So you, are you about to Mandela catalog this guy? You have <laughs> no idea. <laughs> you about to inflict this man two. with dorselessness. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, three, two, then one. I've got something then... for you, 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 you. <laughs> Hello. Jeez. Uh, Molly six. walked. <laughs> he rolled a th- he rolled three successes. So you have a He rolled level- three? Yeah, so he dominated level him. three success over him. What do you want to happen? Here's, uh, here's your cheat sheet. He's right? he's water, right? Yeah, he is water. Here's your cheat sheet. This is everything from here down you can do. Everything from here down can you do? Can I put him in the hospital for a month? Yeah. Uh, well. <laughs> well, well um, okay, so says. basically what I'm going to yeah, do yeah, is... Uh, so he's using <laughs> water. Ex- explain water. his attack. What was he doing? His attack, you see him like, <laughs> like, like oh, take both of his hands and cup it behind him and try and like... Sp- like as a water hose, like a fire hose, like spray you with it. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna launch the tendrils out, and it's gonna kind of like arc it, like right angles and stuff, like all across, like 
out towards him. Okay. And it's going to, uh, all of them are going to wrap around his hand and they're going to envelop his body. Mm-hmm. And then, um, he's going, the, um, the tendril, there's, uh, after his whole, basically, uh, from his, from his neck down, after everything's encased in like, like a, like a shadow, uh, like three of the tendrils are just going to just slap the crap out of him. Just, just, gah, 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 like literally just like, I think of like a, like a, um, like a vine whip from like Pokemon or something. Okay. Just, <laughs> so after I was, say, I was like, if you grabbed his wrist, it's like stop hitting yourself, stop hitting it, like something no. like that. Well, like, I didn't think you were gonna shoot the water in his face. Like, no, no, no. Like, after <laughs> after three water consecutive water hits with the <laughs> the tendrils, you see the teacher go, "All right, that's enough," and he slaps the tendrils with the like. A, you see a pure wind strike hit the tendrils, splitting them up from him, and you just see Griffith like lay on the floor, like <laughs> I can't. I, I've been practicing my whole life. Your tears hydrate me. <laughs> And he just kind of like rolls off the stage, <laughs> and he goes, "All right, let's see how this goes." Zuka, get up here. Well, what happened to me doing last, sir? Well, you know, I don't think Sam knows the history, but I think if he saw what happened with with Zeke and Griffith, he's just like, "Ha!" <laughs> All right, Zuka, let's see what you got. Bring it on, boys. I, I am sorry, friend. Me too. All right. What is each of you going to do? Uh, uh, we're gonna well, do that. First, who has the highest reflex? Are highest you guys reflex? the same? Uh, uh, I think we're the same. Yeah, we are. All right, so what we're going to do to determine order is both of you guys are going to roll a d6. The highest roll... It's him. Three. Okay, so what's going to happen is, Austin, you're going to declare what you're going to do first. Okay. And then, Zach, you are going to declare what you do first. Or do afterwards, sorry. Okay. Then you will be able to react based on what he does and so on. So basically, te- and then whatever you say, whatever uh, Zach declares will happen first. And then whatever you declare will happen second. Okay. So okay. that's how combat works. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just uh, just, just uh, kind of lift my hand up and just launch a whole, like, a whole... Um, Flurry of just shadow crows. A okay. Whole flurry, flurry of, of shadow crows. Fears. So that's also good. that's going to be a conjure a and attack. Conjure and attack. Yeah. So you conjure first, so that you can actually summon the crows. Okay. And then the attack of based on that that attack that conjure. So we'll wait to roll because again, whatever okay. Johnny declares, will go first. We're going flamethrower. All right, flamethrower. So roll so that. We're just we're just gonna dual handed just out. Yeah. Go ahead and roll that attack. Going straight Skyrim on me. Oh. All right. That is uh, seven successes. A three isn't a uh, success. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, that was, that was yeah, a three. That was six successes. My apologies. All That's right. Six successes. Do you see a giant flame coming towards you? Are you you're still summoning? You're summoning the crows to go into the flame. So you need to beat six successes or else you're going to get torched so first the conjure no that's four it's four now the attack to so you're able to summon the con- the crows uh-huh so now you need to summon the attack to beat that so, yeah, so now you need to make your attack roll. so three and then two for attack and one from spell casting and one from stress the so same thing okay uh three nope. Yeah, so you have three levels of victory. This is techn- This is your cheat sheet if you want to use it of what you want to do, what you can do to him. Zach's looking at it like, how can I mess up Austin in the worst possible way? <laughs> I got it. Hospital for a month. <laughs> <laughs> what you see from the class perspective is Johnny loading up this giant flamethrower, and you just see a bunch of crows flying out from uh, Zeke's arms and kind of trying to take the flames, but they just get torched. I was gonna say, uh, probably at first, it probably doesn't even look like a massive ball of fire, but I imagine like once a, it leaves like, his hands, it's yeah. like a, it's like a, a like a infernal, like an inferno spout. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll say that, uh, just not to hurt anybody, we'll say that the, uh, the heat and the force of it is so intense that it just knocks him on his rear. Okay, you get knocked down completely. The coach throws a, a gust of wind underneath you to pick you back up. And he goes, all right, well, that was, that was good there, fine boy. Before, before he actually does that, I'm going to get knocked on the ground for a second and just. Five in the one. <laughs> all right, flame boy. 
Let's see what you got. He sends a, a water girl up against you to start. Ready? Ready. <laughs> what is it? What is it that you're doing? <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. I'm a one-trick pony, man. When it comes to the, when it comes Ooh. to fighting, Ooh. that wasn't as good. No, not that. That was actually successes. pretty bad. How many successes? Only three. She has four. All right. So you summon the flamethrower, and she just takes a wall of water and shoots it up, and then some, and then twists that wall of water and stirs it up. And, uh, knocks you back on your butt. The coach just goes, ha, 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 five and two there, flame boy. Get off my stage. He was cheating. <laughs> hey, you got a lot of talk in you. How about you hop up there against her? Of course. And Sam, like, in, a, in literally like a half second, just Sam takes off straight for where I'm going to say like a stage. There yeah, it's like a, a, think about it like a runway and then both okay, sides. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like, um. Don't mention it, but yes. Yes, I, I, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what yeah. you're talking about. But yeah, so Sam hurries on down to the runway and looks to Johnny and says, I can avenge you. I'm not dead. You are dead on what me. What? <laughs> that was one of the coolest things I've ever heard. Maybe go. You were not of smart brain. Hey. Oh my Maybe go. I will avenge your honor. And then he hops up onto the runway. All right. He doesn't know I'm five and two. <laughs> Let's see what you got. I think he does. She summons a uh, that same kind of water wall and tries to launch it at you. Okay. Same water wall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sam's seen this trick before. He knows exactly what to do. What is so it? I'm that... rolling my attack, right? Yeah. What is it that you're doing? So I'm counterattacking. I'm essentially conjuring like. Thing, like kind of like they got the same like wind disc that he did before, but he's conjuring like a stack of like four of them. He's essentially throwing them out like chakrams, like straight through her wind wall or straight through her water wall. Okay. So I roll my attack, which mm-hmm. I have nothing in strength but a plus one in attack. So I have four dice. You have five because you're adding your you also, add your vocation. Yes, that's right. Okay. So I actually have five, but I have nothing in strength, so I would have more. But right, we'll we'll deal with that later. It's all right. Uh, that is three. She only had two. Okay. Yeah, so I conjure these, like, wind chakrams, and I throw them just to cut straight through her water wall, but I'm hoping they essentially slow them down enough to where they don't cut through her. Yeah, it does, it it hits a little bit of, the, like, the resistance of the water, and then just pushes <laughs> her back. And, uh, he's like, that was pretty sharp there. All right, who's next, you see a... Avenged. You see an Earth caster boy uh, step up and and just like, all right, let's let's get it on, boys. Let us dance. All right, what is it that you want to do? Um, I think this time around, um, I think Sam wants to try because you know air is all around you. So I think Sam wants to try and catch him off guard and like kind of. Almost like lift him and toss him a little bit, conjure like a wind tunnel underneath him to knock him off his feet. All right, yeah. So what do you think, conjure or attack? Be attack. Okay. All right, same thing as before. Five. Uh, three successes. Three successes. He, you summon it, and he tries to summon something to knock you off your feet as well. Kind of similar minds, and both of you kind of move yourself out of the way, but it doesn't knock you completely off of your feet at all. And okay. uh, the coach is like, well, we're going to be here till we get a victor. Let's go. What is it that you want to do now? Okay. I think Sam kind of – I think there's like a smirk from Sam. I think he's kind of thoroughly impressed, mainly because I think he thought he was at a, a bit of a disadvantage into this. But I think this time he's just going to go for something with a little more power behind it, and he's going to attack with like an air cannon that he's just going to launch from where he's standing. All right. So, I think it's still five. Yeah, it's still five. Uh, <coughs> two successes this time. Four successes this time. I have two destiny points. I can only use one at a time, right? Now you can use both if you want to. Yeah, but I'm just going to tie with him again. Yes. 
Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, I'll use the both. We'll just oh, wow. the tie with him again. Wow. All right, you guys tie again. You are no. You have no more destiny nope, points. Not for the rest of this session. He goes, well, oh, we, we ain't done yet. He's putting up a fight. You go, Sam Kit Fisto. You are strong. Isn't it Samwise Gamgee? But you will not stand much longer before me. <laughs> and he's going to go... I... I think this time, I think he's going to go for more of like, kind of like a low, like a low wind, like a really strong low wind to try and sweep his feet out from underneath him. Okay. So I'm going to go for another attack roll. So one, two, three. He has four. Okay. Yeah. So he takes the blow and he just takes a small little pebble and just chucks it at your head with the velocity of it just clean knocks you into the temple knocking you out okay yeah so he just hits sam and sam just <laughs> yeah <out. laughs> yeah and uh the coach laughs and goes all right wake up and he, as soon as you hear that you pop your eyes open <laughs> and uh are back up and uh that can rest of class continues as, as normal <clears throat> and uh, the cl- the teacher goes all right now listen here y'all we don't need to be fighting Ain't no differences that amongst us. We're all wizards here, and uh, no matter what kind of, and he looks directly at this at you, Zeke, and goes, "No matter what kind of power you got, you're still a wizard, just like everybody else here." Are you looking at me? Why is he looking at me? And then he like starts to look around the room, like <laughs> vigorously, like I, I just want everybody to know it's okay. Like, ain't no reason to fight. If you lose here, you win here. We're all trying to get better. All right, so go on, enjoy your free period, do some training, and uh, flame board. I'll see you next time. Y- yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, we're going to... Oh, God. I wasn't listening. Did he say it's okay to fight? I don't know. I believe he gave us the okay. Duh. We're going to do a, um, a little bit of a time skip here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so you're gonna go We're through skipping 16 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've been um, through the third wizard war. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, um, there was three. There was two other ones. <laughs> so, uh, you guys are just gonna skip a week into the future. You and your battalion are ambushed. <laughs> oh no, gosh. <laughs> at at the end of this week, you guys have gone through the same classes, and then at the end of the week, you you're brought to your RAs at the end of the day and they go, well, we'll be switching the class rotation. You'll have new teachers starting tomorrow. And uh, enjoy. You guys go to bed. You guys wake up the next day. New classes start. I'm just gonna, I'm honestly, at this this point, like, since it's been, uh, you said a week and a half, Mm -hmm. I've just basically just been following them to class. Okay. At this point in class, you guys have like a brand new rotation of people. Uh, that you guys are kind of seeing, or brand new teachers that you're seeing, you have the same cl- classmates as always. And anyways, uh, so you guys go into the first class, which is the same as always, Monster Manual. And a, uh, the professor that, you, that you've that you always had, he looks very similar, but this time he has a very thin mustache. That is the only difference between this guy and the other. And also, just a very thin mustache. Baby face before, and now he's got a mustache. And he just just walks up and goes, "Hello, Hello class. class. Um, I'm going to be your professor, uh, Mr. Landian. I see we have a question. Yes, you are the same person. I'm sorry. You are the same person. You have mustache. You cannot fool me. You've got a little caterpillar on your lip." No, I'm not the same person. I don't know. Like, there's other Monster Manual professors here. You're, Are you're, you a twin? Yes, I am a twin. Oh. Ah. There's a lot of twins around here. Uh, yes, you'll find that the community of wizards, we have tons of twins, triplets, quadruplets. Uh, I believe there's a family of ten uplets. Where there's ten of them. What is a ten uplet? Yes. I I don't know. I Pent uplets, I guess, or whatever. Deca it sounds uplets. French. I don't know. I Deck uplets, yeah, whatever they're called. Deck uplets. Anyways, uh, who can tell me what these three monsters are? And then boom, 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 three clay creatures appear through the board behind him. And uh, let's see some general role- knowledge checks, boys. Oh, boy. I got two. I, I got, got one. One. 
Uh, I don't know nothing. Both of you are able to recognize one as a giant creature with only one eye. All three of you are able to recognize that one. Psychops. And um, Zeke is able to very specifically recognize a ghoul. And nobody's able to recognize the third creature. Dang, not even you? Well, not even I. What did um, you get? I got two skill issues. Oh. He he looks around and goes, so can anybody tell me what, what these three creatures are? That's a ghoul. And he looks at you and goes, yes. yes. You have a darkness caster, right? What gave it away? No, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Um, anybody else can tell me what any, these others are? Looking around the classroom. Yes, yes. Sam. <laughs> Uh, that first one there is a cyclops. Yep, very good, cyclops. And the third one. Yes, John. That one is Baba Yaga. Nope. No. Baba Yaga is a different thing. Anybody else? One of these days will be all right. All right, I'll give you guys a hint. Fee, fi, fo, fum. It's a Baba Yaga. <laughs> you cannot trick me. All right, they, Johnny, see, you're trying again? Yeah, you cannot trick me. That is Baba Yaga. No, no, no it's not Baba Yaga. What the? <sighs> Never mind. And this is a giant. A giant. Fee, five, fo, fum, jack in the... Anyways. And uh, he goes on to Here's teach jack. class. Uh, none of you guys get a bonus to any of your skills, but you guys do learn the, de- the weaknesses of a ghoul, a giant, and a cyclops. Uh, the, now you guys go um, to your attack class. There's a large burly woman at the front of the, the, the there's like a, a same platform as you always see in every attack class. And she goes, all right, listen, I'm not like one of these gym teachers that are always having you fight each other. We don't need any of that. And she just stomps the ground and two pillars of bricks show up and you see one that forms itself into a, a large circle and the other one form itself of a wall with a button on it. She goes, this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna stand right over here on the other end of this ring here. You're gonna shoot perfectly through this circle and hit that button. If you don't hit that button dead on, this is what happens. And she flings a rock and it hits the side of the button and a, the, the place where you're supposed to stand, the, the floor underneath it falls out and just a little dump off area. She goes, all right, so uh, you, looking dead at you, Zani, goes, fire boy. I've heard a lot about you. As well you should. Go ahead, stand up here. You are a very sturdy woman. She looks at that and she goes, is that, is that a compliment? Yes. All right, well, this is what you're going to do. Stand up here. Uh, so before you roll an attack, you're going to actually roll a sleight of uh, hand check Uh-oh. to aim your attack properly. <laughs> and the CL is a three. Nope. Two. Oh, you almost passed. All right. Now roll your attack roll however you want to. We'll do the we'll do the flamethrower. All right. Yikes! A lot of ones and twos. Four. Uh, no. <coughs> Three. 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 You're able to get to the button with your attack, and it hits. It's not a. It's not aimed correctly, so you just torch the whole ring, and the button included. And as soon as you touch the button, the floor falls out with from underneath you, and you you land in the sand pit. She like for, with the sand. You feel the sand kind of wrap around you a little bit and pull you up from the pit and place you back down. And go well, Flame Boy. I guess you ain't that special after all. Next, five and two. Thank you, world champion. Thank you. Yeah, zero and one. That's what I got. <laughs> five and two, world champion. <laughs> I guess I'll just walk up there. And you walk up. Hands all right. Pockets. Okay. All right. There. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Zeke. Z Hargrave? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's, Let's see what you got. So you're gonna roll a sleight of hand check to start. Uh. So what do I what do I exactly do? Just whatever I have in sleight of hand. E, so sleight of hand is three plus reflex plus sleight of hand. So for sleight you, four. that's five. Five. Oh, you don't have any reflex. Yeah. No. Four, 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 four. And the CL is a three. Got three. Nice. You're Fantastic. able to aim whatever you guys, whatever I'm just gonna, you're doing. I'm just gonna like kind of side my body and put my uh my index and my thumb finger up, kind of like a gun. Mm-hmm. And then I'm just going to uh, attempt to fire a fire a uh, 
uh, a raven, kind of like. Okay. Yeah, we'll just make that an attack. Yeah. Attack. Yeah, just an attack roll. Really, really. Uh, Conjure one or just a regular one, regular attack. Okay. So. Uh, two. You are able to get the attack through the ring, but not enough to get to the button. Mm. And she goes, "All right, you got the aim. Now I just need to work on the power." Next, looking around the class, a couple of people volunteer. You see nobody. <laughs> you see nobody able to get through the challenge just yet. Yeah, and Sam is immediately already down there. Says, this just as easy. It is the same as blowing a kiss to a woman. She, like, <laughs> looks at you and she goes, I'm pretty sure you never kissed a woman, but all right. You cannot prove that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead and roll sleight of hand. For you, that's going to be five actually, dice. Yeah, I actually have a pretty decent sleight of hand. I need, what, a CL3, you said? Three. Uh, okay, three. Yep, you're able to aim it. Now, what are you going to throw through it? Um... He is going to do it exactly as he just said. He's going to gather up like a little gust of wind and blow it towards the ring like he was blowing a kiss to a girl. Sure. What do you think? Conjure or attack? Attack. So it's going to be an attack. So it'd be five again. Same CL? Yep. It's going to be so funny if I mess this up. I didn't. (laughs) I got three sixes. You were able to funnel it straight through and just you hit dead onto the button. And she goes, well, that's the first one today. All right. That's how you aim something right there, but we don't need all that aim and kisses and stuff. But whatever works for you there, girly boy. Same thing. Turns to the class and just... The whole class just, like, side-eyes you. Just be like, you have whatever. (laughs) You have kissed women before? You cannot prove that. You see the rest of your class. I was just asking... (laughs) And then just files back in with everyone else. (laughs) You see the rest of your classmates go up there and pretty much fail all the way around. And uh, she goes, well, y'all get better at it. Get on. And uh, that's the end of class. Your next class is defense. And defense. Oh, boy. You then meet a very burly woman that looks exactly like your first teacher. Uh Uh-huh. And stands up in front and goes, all right, now listen here. I'm not going to send no attacks towards you, but you need to learn exactly what you got to do in a corridor of a dungeon or any other place y'all exploring. Why are there so many twins? I ain't no twin. I'm a triplet. What? This looks so, like, kind of, like, this kind of disheveled. Just like, what? Listen here, y'all. Y'all going to see a bunch of teachers here, same family, bunch of wizards, relations, and all that. We all come from the same first wizard that spread his magic down through four different family lines Uh, and then two other mysterious travelers. They are all inbred. (laughs) No, it ain't no inbred. Hold on there. Ain't nothing like that. Ain't nothing like that. Sam connects the neurons. The the, the synapses are firing. He's good. God. (laughs) (laughs) Nope, nope, nope. Get, Get your minds out together. Ain't no inbred situation. What happened was... They taught people, and then they bred with those people that were taught the same kind of magic. Not their own family, you weirdos. Hey, you're calling me the weirdo. <laughs> Listen, I, that's enough. And you see two su- walls appear and creating this hallway. And she goes, all right, what y'all need to do is look down this hallway and check for traps. Then try and navigate through the hallway without get- activating none of them traps, all right? I'm just going to walk up. All right, you walk up. She goes, all right there. Go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and shadow sneak. Okay. Go ahead and just roll perception to start. Perception? Yeah. So so three. Three? No. No. So, yeah, you don't see any traps. Okay. (laughs) Looks safe to me. Always looks clear. You're you're going to try and shadow walk all the way to the end? Mm Mm-hmm. All right. Go ahead, and you're going to roll your shadow walk with disadvantage. Hold on, so three, and then two for defense, and then one for that, and then two for shadow walk. Yep. Okay. So you're going to roll for dis- with disadvantage. How does that work again? So you, if you, you only succeed if you get a five or a six. Oh. Oh. So this got harder now. 
So two. So two successes. Yeah, you're, <coughs> you're able to you shadow travel about a quarter of the way through, mm-hmm. and uh, you haven't activated any traps, but you're able to shadow travel a little bit through the hallway. I did activate traps. You haven't. I haven't. No, you haven't yet. Oh, am I still moving? You're still. She wants you to clear through the hallway. Uh. I guess I'll just kind of like throw my tendrils out and trying to like trying to touch all the all the different sides of the walls. Just the sides of the walls. Well, and the floor too. Just throwing out. Okay. All like literally all, all around wherever the wall is, wherever it's covering. Gotcha. Go ahead and make an. As, as soon as you start to do that, you hit a pressure plate and a giant hammer comes swinging down. Roll an athletics check. Uh, challenge level three. Athletics. Yep. Oh. Uh, Made it. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> you you successfully like duck out of the way of the hammer and it doesn't hit you. What and the heck? She's like, keep going. It is like in the uh, drones. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna use the uh, I'm gonna use the shadows, kind of like a uh, like one of those uh, like the how blind people use the walkers and stuff. Okay. I'm just trying to like move it around the floor, trying to like see if there's anything I'm tripping. Yeah. Beforehand, um, you don't notice anything. As I can just keep moving forward, just, just. As you do that, you hit it, and the the uh, tile in front of you, and the whole floor right in front of you just cracks apart. There's mm. about a about a five foot gap between you and and where you need to go to finish the tunnel, finish the hallway. Now, I mean, I guess I could just try to shadow travel again, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Take me again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're able to. Five. Uh, just so you know, every time I see like you're you trying to shadow travel for me, I depend. It depends on how well you know the place. Okay, but makes sense. and so like depending on it, I it's not going to be the same challenge level for you each time, and mm-hmm. as well as I'm not going to let you use, waste your destiny points on it unless right. it's something like super specific, like oh hey, I need to do this in the middle of combat kind of thing, and you're trying like that. I can see you doing, but like classes, yeah. Um, but yeah, you're able to, you successfully shadow travel to the end of the hallway, popping up out of the shadows. You see, you see the teacher just sitting there going, <laughs> okay. And three arrows fly through the air towards you. Uh, can I, can I attempt to, uh, I guess trying to like just flip out of the way? Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to try and like move your like body. So like acrobatics. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the CL level is a four. Four? To get, yeah. To avoid all the arrows. I got three, but I'll use a destiny point. Okay, you use a destiny point. You successfully dodge all the arrows, and she kind of does this little... Thank you! Someone's actually clapping! That's impressive, that's impressive. All right, next. She looks at you, Johnny, of like, how about you there, flame boy? Uh, how expensive was uh, the this thing? Not expensive. You see your snapper fingers and the whole, like, it goes back to normal. The whole hallway goes oh, right good. back so to normal. Oh, good. So insurance, not to worry. Okay. I will I will go through. Yes. She looks at you kind of confused and says, oh, all right. What the heck is this? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and as you step up, roll a perception check. Yeah. Uh, one. One. Yeah. You don't see any traps. Okay. Uh, however, I plan for that. Can I... Uh, shoot a flame like in a circular pattern around like the edges of the walls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's going to be an attack roll against the, the walls. Why are you rolling so much dice? Is that, what's your, uh, hold on. <laughs> You're not summoning the flamethrower, right? It's a different, like it's a yeah, ring? No, uh, yeah, He's doing no, yeah. No, just, no, I'm like, like, I'm like flamethrowing. Yeah. But you want to keep the ring like and move it forward. You're not just like, or no, no, doing no, it's not, it's not a ring. Walls. It's like, it's like, yeah, I'm burning the wall. <laughs> oh, you're just doing that same flamethrower action in a circle. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Keep <laughs> rolls. I'm just, I'm just sweeping the walls. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> Do what you're good at. <laughs> I'm one trick I'm not a one trick pony, but you know. Yeah. Uh, we're getting there. We're close to it. One, two, three, four, five. Five successes? Five successes. Alright. 
you you start to swing your hands and the flames appear throughout the whole hallway. You just see a tripwire, a, bless you, a tripwire burn and spikes shooting out of the wall real quick. And then you see the giant hammer coming through and just like getting eviscerated through the flames. And you see the flow, the tile like crack, but in the wall, the ground disappear right in front of you. So you have about a five foot hole right in front of you. And she goes, all right, well, you burnt through the traps. Now let's see you get through the rest of the hallway. And you have a five foot hole to walk through. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just I'll run through the hallway. Okay. How are you? You're gonna jump over the hole. Uh. So, yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Uh, um. Either acrobatic. Yeah, acrobatics challenge level four to jump over that floor. Okay. No. No. We got a two. So you jump and you go to grab the edge of the the hole and you just fall down into the hole and she goes well good effort and just see her <laughs> pop you back up onto the the hall in front of the hallway again she goes now do you want to try this again the careful way or are you done after falling into that little pit of yours uh let me see where is this happening at in the hallway, <clears throat> like that, she's making it like a disappear each time, out of out of Earth. Yeah, we'll is, we'll we'll try it again. Is everyone else in the room? Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna like walk up to him and be like, "Hey, bro, you could be a little rocket." What are you talking about? Well, you're a little fire. You could be a little rocket. I, I don't understand. You know, like putting the fire like behind you. Like, you know, you tried to jump that time. It didn't work. You just, just be a rocket. Be not... a little, like a, a rocket man. Go away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she sets up the same scenario right in front of you. Okay. In the hall. Do you want the tra- She looks in. Do you want the traps to be there or you still want them burnt? They were burned before. They will be burned again. All right. They're burnt. And you see the floor right in front of you again. <laughs> Five foot hole or in front of you. Okay. So, uh, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna try to jump the hole again. All right, roll the athletic checks. Same thing. Challenge level four. A one. You don't even make it to the other end. You just <laughs> plop down, and she goes, "All right, there." And she snaps you back up. The floor coming back level. She goes, "That's that's enough there." I I can't. Oh, you made the hole bigger that time. Nope, five feet. It's the same thing everyone goes through. <laughs> you just go ahead, step back there, and she resets the dungeon, the hallway back to normal. She cheated. That's what the hole is bigger. I told you you should have been a rocket man. <laughs> and um, you know that is where we're going to end this session for today. All right. We'll see what uh, Sam has in store for the 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 walls and the traps uh, next session. Thank you guys for listening, and uh, hope you enjoyed this kind of stuff. Have a good day. That's what done you. See you. So I'm here with Nick, the Peruvian Pup Pepper, and I have to ask, have you watched uh, Velvet Games' new video? I'm sorry, who? What'd you say? <laughs> Again? The new video! Every video! Like, subscribe, ring the bell! I'm telling you what, you are going to be missing out! Make sure you check out the website, myvelvetgames.com, and this summer smash, coming to you! I'll see you there, little boy. Why? You keep doing this. 